Dr. Mindy here and all this week I have been doing a series on women's health and I actually think this series is going to continue on because I got so many comments on my anxiety one that I did on Wednesday. And those of you that reached out and you asked me questions, I got messages, I got people asking about the external version of anxiety. Um, I appreciate your comments, I'm trying to get to all of them um, and I just, I, I, I see that I have touched a subject that is affecting so many of you. So I want to explain it in a way that gives you hope and gives you something you can go and do other than feeling anxious about feeling anxious. You know, there's, there's nothing worse than having a symptom and feeling like it's never going away um, and feeling like medication is your only solution. Um, there's nothing worse than having a symptom, getting on a medication, having it solve the problem for a little while, and then having it come back, and then you're out of hope, your doctor doesn't have any answers. So I want to make this as useful and simple for you as possible today around anxiety. I wish I had my big anxiety poster that I wrote out um, on Wednesday, go back and watch that video. Um, we're actually packing up my office today. We're, we're having a very large event tomorrow. Uh, it's a woman's health event where I'm going to teach women how to stay healthy and how to turn around and make the and help their kids be healthy. So if you're local and you want some information on that, we're expecting over 100 women. I'm super excited, so I'm going to go teach anxiety over there tomorrow. So reach out, if, it, just direct message me if you want that. But here's what I want you to see, okay? Big picture. What happens is that coming into our brain is we have internal stress from our body and we have external stress from our environment. With anxiety, we've always been taught this external stress piece. And we're always give, given tools on how to work the external stress piece. And please know that I am not diminishing that in any way, shape, or form. What I want you to know is that you have also an internal stress. And when it comes to anxiety, your internal stress is coming from two places. It's coming from a dysbiosis in your gut. So any of you that have SIBO, candida, leaky gut, anything that damages the gut will start to diminish what we call neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are the chemicals of your brain and they make it so that your brain functions normally. A neurotransmitter that you probably know really well is serotonin. Serotonin makes you feel happy, makes you feel a uh, sense of satisfaction. Dopamine. Do you know that when you get a like on Facebook, you get a nice little a dopamine rush? Uh, you get dopamine from eating sugar or eating something carbohydrate -y. So all of that is made, those neurotransmitters are made in your gut and they're sent up to your brain. So if anything that damages the gut, anything that takes that diversity of your microbiome and, and messes it up and it brings those good bacteria down are gonna mess up your brain. So what I hear from so many of you guys is that you say, I was doing fine, I was doing fine, and then I hit, I had an emotional event or I had um, a stressful time in my life or I just hit 40, that was what happened to me is I just hit an early number and all of a sudden anxiety appeared and it didn't and for some of you it just appears out of nowhere that's the microbiome so you got to go looking for that area you got to go doing some repair there the second thing that's happening is you have something called a nervous system and the nervous system is controlled by the brain and there's a big like thick rope down coming down from your brain down into the center part of your body called your spinal cord and through this information from the brain is coming down it's going out through nerves of your spine and it's telling everything in your body to function normally and then it's sending information back up into the brain and saying hey everything's good down here well guess what anything that damages that spinal cord sends a signal up into the brain and says hey guess what it's stressful down here and the brain starts to react by by telling the adrenals to up cortisol levels so what could be damaging your spinal cord the number one thing we're seeing right now is this sitting texting this doing on the sitting on the computer all of that is starting to put undue stress on your spinal cord and on your nerves and it's sending cortisol up so if you want to calm down the internal stress coming into the brain causing anxiety 
you want to repair your gut and you want to get the relax your spinal cord best way to do that is get go to a corrective chiropractor look and see if you have the proper curves in your spine is your spinal cord relaxed if you have a text neck or a forward head syndrome or a reverse car uh, curve in your neck you're, you're, you're always going to have elevated cortisol levels. It's just the way the body operates. Okay. So those are two things that you need to go home and do some, some research on and do some homework on. Now, once you're, you've got this external stress coming in, you've got this internal stress coming in, it's going into the amygdala and the amygdala is firing fear, 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 which is what anxiety is. There are, there is a hormone and there is a neurotransmitter that calms that down. On Wednesday, I talked about the neurotransmitter. It's called GABA. There's a couple of ways you can access GABA. My favorite way, because it's free and you can do it anywhere, is called 478 breathing. So you stick your tongue on the top of your roof of your mouth and you inhale through your nose for four, count, count to four, you hold it for seven, and then you exhale out through your mouth for eight. Try it, do it a couple of times, and you'd be amazed how quickly the body starts to relax. And it does that because you increase GABA, okay? There's also, you can take supplements, like my patients who have uh, just really, their, their anxiety is really high, we give them Calm. This actually has GABA in it. It also has nutrients that the brain needs to, to function right. So message me if you want any more information about that. I know that a lot of you guys are systemic fans and I uh, systemic formula fans and um, you know call them it systemic formula is the bomb love that 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 supplement company so so 478 breathing releases GABA you can take a supplement like calm you can do something like take a probiotic you can do fermented foods you can start to work on your microbiome so that you naturally secrete GABA that's also an awesome way um, heavy metals if, you're, if you've got heavy metals will block the receptor sites for GABA. So even if you're trying to stimulate it, if the receptor site is blocked, then your, body, your brain can't register it. So if you haven't looked into your heavy metal toxic load, uh, that's something you wanna look at as well. And then there's things like um, uh, passion flower and lemon balm, uh, amino acids and glycine that's found in bone broth, those kind of things can, can help as well. But here's something I discovered this morning that I'm pretty excited about because as I was researching anxiety this week and, and having all these conversations with you guys, I realized that there's another hormone that causes us to, there's a neurotransmitter and there's a hormone that causes the brain to relax. And that is oxytocin. So what do you think of when you think of oxytocin? Most of you probably think of a hug, right? It's touch and that's right. It's definitely in this digital world we have, we're losing our oxytocin. But I did some fun research and I want to show you what I found that also causes your body to release oxytocin. So we know a hug. Any of you that know me, I love to hug. Uh, I don't think we get enough hugs, so go hug. I think they say like 10 people a day. Go hug some people. It will calm the brain down. Second thing, giving money away. Oh my gosh, how often does it feel, like how good does it feel when you make a donation? I'll tell you something we're doing in my family that has given us all a great amount of oxytocin is whenever we see a homeless person at a stoplight, my husband came up with this, we, he has a, a, a box of power bars in the car. Whenever we see a homeless person, we give him a, a, a power bar. We feel good about giving him something nutritious that he can eat, we don't have to sit there at the light and hope that it'll turn, um, and it gives us a nice little rush of oxytocin. So you can give money away, give something away. Check this out, I found this, and you gun-loving people are gonna have to explain this to me because I am not a gun lover. Shooting guns <laughs> releases oxytocin. So if you're a gun lover, please explain that to me. I'd love to know how that mechanism works. Somebody who uh, told me, yeah, it feels amazing. So. Okay, so you so don't now go to the go to the firing range. Don't pull out your home gun and look <laughs> look around. But obviously do this sensibly. But I'd be curious to know more about that from you. Uh, take a walk, laugh, get yourself in environments where you laugh. Breathe a little deeper. Listen to soothing music. Now check this out. When you go to Facebook and you like something, you're liking it. It gives you a burst of oxytocin. 
So you go and like it, you get the oxytocin, the person receiving the like gets the dopamine. How cool is that? So, I, I mean, I know that we have a whole lot of people that are anti uh, electronics for our kids, but there's some interesting stuff that Facebook is doing for all of us. So, and then um, I like to look at oxytocin rich meals like eggs and bananas and peppers. Those are all meals, especially eggs. I think the egg is the most amazing food out there. It'll release oxytocin in your body. Okay? So let me just recap. Anxiety, it's caused by external stress and internal stress. It creates this nonstop firing to the amygdala. The amygdala perceives fear and it keeps sending you fear signals. So even if you don't see anything fearful around you, you're, you're, you're feeling the fear inside of you. There are two, two chemicals that can reduce this fear response. One is GABA. GABA is made in your gut. So you want to make sure that your gut is healthy. You want to take a GABA supplement. You want to pull heavy metals out. The other one, the hormone that will re re reduce this anxiety, fearful response is oxytocin. You want to give somebody a hug. You want to go donate some money. Uh, you want to connect with more people on Facebook. Uh, you want to do some deep breathing. Like I said, I gave you a lot of ideas there. Okay? How cool is that? Like, there's some cool things we can do, and I love it. You know, when I get a lot of people with depression and anxiety, there's this hopeless feeling, and what I want to tell you is please don't ever give, hope, uh, give up hope. There's so much you can do. You were born in a miracle. This is a miracle. Your body's a miracle. I, I just want to share with you that you, if you treat it like a miracle, your whole world will change. So... Let's do this. As my call to action today, what I would love is if you would share this or like it, you're gonna get, a do you're gonna get an oxytocin response from liking this post or sharing it. You're gonna feel good about it. You're gonna get some oxytocin and I'm gonna get dopamine when I see your share or your like. So I would love it if you would do that. Uh, second thing, here's what I wanna know in the comment section. Which one are you gonna do? What are you going to do over the next 24 hours? What are you going to do to up your oxytocin and to up your GABA? If we all walked around with high levels of oxytocin and GABA, what would this world look like? So let's do it. I want to know what you, which one of these you're going to do. If you're going to go shoot a gun, please tell me A, that you're going to do it responsibly and B, explain to me the high that it gives because that's the one I don't understand, but I had to put it on there. Okay? I hope that helps. You guys are awesome. I appreciate your feedback. Next week, we're going to go into thyroid and estrogen and all the things that you typically think of with, with women. But what I'm seeing right now in my office is anxiety and depression. And gosh, if we could change this, if everybody walked around ha happy, what a different world this would be. So please share it. Let's get some, some oxytocin out there. Get some dopamine and uh, have an awesome day.